grace and blessings to you as we have assembled it to pay our final respects to our dear sister Hazel Nero. And indeed, this is a homegoing celebration for Ms. Hazel's faith in the Lord was uh, strong. And uh, at the time of her passing, she had the distinction of being the longest tenured member uh, of Mount Hermon Church. Amen, somebody. So it is with distinction that she goes to uh, meet her Lord as a witness of of her, her faithfulness, uh, even in the midst of uh, testing and trials in her physical body in her latter years. So our hearts and our prayers are with you, the family, uh, and friends uh, as uh, we pay our respects uh, to Ms. Hayes with the life she lived and the lives that she touched. The family has expressed uh, their wishes for uh, this service uh, on the program and we're going to ask that everybody would respect those wishes and conduct yourself uh, accordingly as we uh, proceed. At this time we will have a prayer uh, by Elder Tina McFarland which will be followed immediately with an Old Testament scripture reading by Elder James Oney and a New Testament scripture reading by Minister Lorna Washington. Father, we come before you this morning, dear Lord, to our hearts and Lord. And at the same time, Lord, we are rejoicing because we know we're sister Nero is at our Father. We thank you, Lord, for receiving her right now, dear God, into your arms. She has been through a lot, but you kept her, dear God. And you saw it fit to call her home, dear God. So, Father God, we know she's in a better place. And to the family and friends and the community. I pray that you find peace and joy. You may be saddened for a while, but her great memories will always remain with you. So I pray right now that as we go through this service, we don't just see, we can't see her physically anymore, but we can see her in the spirit of God. So we thank you right now for this morning, dear God. We even thank you for holding the rain up this morning, dear God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. And we pray again, dear Lord, continue to comfort the family, friends, and the community by this loss that they're experiencing right now. And as I said, she's in a better place. In Jesus' name I pray.
May the Lord bless the reading of this word. Praise the Lord, everybody. Um, on behalf of the Mount Hermon family, from our family and our family, we just want to extend our dearest condolences. Uh, we know that this loss is not easy, but the Bible lets us know that in our weakness, his strength is made perfect. So I want you to know today that in the midst of your tears, in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your hurt, it's just a portal for God to show you his strength. So we're going to sing about the strength of God. I welcome you to sing with us. And I believe that as we sing this, God is strengthening your heart and strengthening your mind. Father, we worship you for strength today. Jesus, we honor you for your strength today.
Grandma, thank you for being a blessing in my life, my siblings' life, and everybody around you. Words can't express how much you are appreciated. Memories go, memories fade, but memories of my grandmother will never go away. Through every storm, you stood strong, a guiding hand where we belong. Now you have passed on beyond our sight, but you still shine, your heart so bright. Thank you so much, Grandma Hazel, for all these years. I love you, Grandma.
No one in the world could outscream my grandma. You could hear her yelling for miles away, telling you to sit down. And her favorite line after this was, then you better not move. She was a hard worker who took on every job to make ends meet. Whether cleaning, dog sitting, ironing, babysitting, or cooking. I even helped her clean those baseboards, and I'm still waiting on my cut, Grandma. <laughs> With all that being said, her guidance shaped me into who I am today. She taught me how to cook, be punctual, persevere through tough times, and never give up on my goals. Most importantly, she introduced me to Christ. And sure and I attended church every Sunday and participated in vocational Bible school. Even when I didn't want to go, my grandma would pull up in her blue Corsica. And I'd be crying and snot coming out my nose, but she'd look at me and I knew it was time to get in the car, buckle up, and be quiet. Whenever I was in trouble, my grandma would always show up and the other kids would say, there's your grandma. She would call my name, Tyranny. While well, I tried to play hard, everybody knew she meant business. While I could speak about her every day, I wanted to take the time out to tell the Lord thank you for showing me a strong God-fearing, loving woman I call Great Grandmother. I promise to keep the family together and stand by everything you have taught me throughout life. Until we meet again, please give my mother a big hug for me, and I love you, honey lamb. Praise dance by Dorisha. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Beautifully done. Amen. Very beautifully done. At this time, the program calls for reflections. We will be receiving reflections from this uh, microphone. And uh, we would ask that you would make an effort to uh, limit your reflections uh, to two minutes. And uh, this is a time where we really eulogize our loved one. That simply means to speak well of it. Uh, recall fond memories, humorous uh, stories, uh, ways in which Ms. Hazel impacted uh, your life. Um, so we're going to open the floor, and if you intend to speak, um, to expedite the time, we ask you to come and stand in this area as opposed to waiting to someone sit, then you get up. Amen. If you intend to speak, we do have a seating here. Uh, let's gather in this area so we know how many people we're expecting. God bless you. touch with her, I'd be like, Mom was at work. She said, okay, you should work so hard. Get over here right now. Even when she was sick, she would even call to check on me. At my downness, she would. She would call me and she would, I would sit next to her and we would have the incredible conversations ever. Long conversations. Even when she got mad at me, she would yell in there, LaQuinta, I hope you ain't mad. You done left. I say I'm right here on this couch, and I come back. I miss her so much. That was my friend. That was my friend, and I love her. I love the impact she gave me, put in my life. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. from Kansas City, Kansas. My home is Fort Myers. Hazel was my oldest sister. It was five of us. Four of us gone now. And I'm the only one left. But God is good. And I tell you one thing, that he's good all the time. Because he has blessed me he has kept me, and he's still keeping me. Yes, yes. I'm 82 years old, and I just thank the Lord how he, you've been so good to me. But I just want to say right now that uh, please pray for me and my family. Yes, because it's one thing I do know, prayer changes things. And I want to tell my family, I love you guys. I might not be here with you all the time. I love you here in 19, whatever, 60 something. I don't know how. But God been good to me. And he blessed me. And he keep keeping me. But I just want to say to you all, my family, I want you to let you know that. Keep on thank praising God. And just asking God. This is just one line. Please, Pastor, if you don't want to just say to the Lord, when you get up in the morning time, because when he wake you up, he didn't have to do it. But he did. Just say to the Lord, Jesus. Time. We got time, but I, I just thank the Lord. I, 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 I'm the 
just thank you because you've been so, so good to me. This is the last of my sisters and one brother I have. But just look at him. I, 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 I st said to myself, I've been sick for five weeks. And when they called me, I said, just try to hold a tune off for just one more week till I get a little bit stronger. But I see they couldn't do it, but look at God. Yeah. Look at God. He brought me down here for the last scene with my sister. And I just thanked him. Hi all. I'm Jenny Burford. It says in there she was our nanny. She was with our family since before I was born, but she was so much more than that. She was my second mom. She not only gave me big hugs and Eskimo kisses, but she was the one to tell me all the time when I was messing up. And she didn't hold back her words, but you just loved her that much more. Um, go to the hospital and visit her, and I always knew she'd bring her lotion because I was going to have to help her with her ashy feet. She'd go, Jenny, get to work. I did everything for you. It's now your turn to repay. So I would do that, and the nurses would come in and look. She goes, it's my daughter. It's okay. This is Jenny. So I, I just... I can't even imagine a world without her, but she is at peace and finally feeling like her old self again, so. You guys all be strong. She taught you everything, and she taught me to be strong, too, so we just got to keep it going for her. Uh, good morning, church. Uh, my name is Hank Jackson. I'm one of the deacons here at Mount Hermon. I'm going to speak to him uh, about Sister Nero as a church member. When she was when she was able to come to church, she came. And she even bought us. She bought a children, a great grand grandchildren, great grandchildren. They bought them too. And also, when we had a school here, our children were fed. She worked in the lunchroom with with, with with some other sisters here, and she was she was very faithful. And I just know, I'm sorry, I just know, just just running about by the pain. You know, just because how you see, she used to be, you know, I, th I thought she was your, your mom at one time, but I know the age difference wasn't. But, but family, Sister Nero is still living. If, if, you, if you're living, she's living a part of you in your heart. Just think about the good times, okay? And she was a, and she was a good lady. She had, a, she had a very sweet, sweet spirit. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, church. Good morning, family. I speak on behalf of, when I first moved here to Fort Myers 24 years ago, Miss Nero was one of those mothers in the church, amen. And so I appreciate mothers. You know, sometimes we look around and say, where did all the mothers go in the church? But my fondest memories of her is uh, the boys say, can we go to grandma's house? Uh, her grandson and my son became best of friends. And so uh, I was telling Tasha, I said, boy, it was always one of our houses. I was dropping them off to her house. They would come to my house. So they were saying, can you take us to grandma's house? And every time I went over to Miss Nero's house, it was always full of kids. It was always a happy place. And I want to say to the girls, I, I just love y'all. Because I tell y'all all the time, I see y'all. Y'all see me in the, say, hey, Miss Lorna. And I said, you know what, God? She did a great job. When I look at each and every one of you and how you have grown and matured and how you're living your adult life and being responsible. And when I look at Ronnie, my little Sunday school student and see how he's grown up. And then I've had a couple of family members, uh, little Frank, he told me he wasn't gonna be here today. But you know, when I look around at the family and see the impact she's had on each and every one of them you and plus the bonus, the bonus kids and the bonus grandkids. That included my son. And I told Tasha, you know what? Now we gotta take the mantle. We the grandmas. We gonna become the mothers in the church. And she left us a good example of what to do. We gotta take up our children and pray for them and keep them and be that house that they can come to, grandma's house, amen. 
May this will be a final reflection. Amen. Sisters, Nero was a beautiful, has a beautiful soul. I love her very much. Um, we're gonna miss her. Um, I want to thank the family on behalf of my wife and myself <clears throat> for allowing us to be part of your family. We love Miss Nero very much. We love you guys very much. Um, and that we come, she loved the such word puzzle very much. So and that we go to, to see her always by a, a book or two for her to play. She's a champion in that sense. We love you guys. We just pray for God to give you peace, love and understanding. Thank you for allowing us to share your love one with us. She always called me D. I said, how are you doing D? And I said, how are you doing, Miss Nero? I'm good. She's always good. Anytime we go and see her, my sister, my wife, she do most of the talking anyway. She talks. She loves the Lord and she loves her family. She loves you guys. You're going to miss her. She has a beautiful, beautiful soul. And I'm going to miss it. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>